Installing Mac OS 11, be sure and a second petition is super easy. Two minutes from now you will know everything you need to do it yourself. Now first up, download Apple's access tool for Mac OS 11. Be to us down in the description below. Continue and agree until you see the software update window pop up. Now Apple has messed up here, so don't panic. They have not updated the image from Catalina. Don't trust me? If it says Mac OS Beta instead of Mac OS 10.15. something, you're good to go. When the download is completed, open the installation file from the application folder. If you want to install Mac OS Beta on a separate partition, open this utility and press Add Volume. If the disk is formatted to Apple Partition File System, this new volume will share the space with your existing operating system so you don't have to allocate a specified amount of storage. I call my partition beta, but you can call it whatever you want. Now after the new volume is created, continue with the installation process by choosing your new volume as the destination for the beta installation. When your Mac restarts, don't hold on the Alt key as your Mac will intelligently choose the beta partition to boot from. Fun fact, I don't get any money from this channel because I lack subscribers, so this channel's survival is dependent on your subscription. When Mac OS 11 boots up for the first time, you're met with a familiar setup where you can configure your Apple ID, Touch ID, Siri and more. Now as you can see, everything is redesigned. You now get a more rounded design from the start, starting with the login password. So there you go, you know how Mac OS 11 Big Sure installed on your Mac. The first you notice is the new redesigned icons. They are now squared with rounded corners just like in iOS. And the similarities with iOS is really what you start noticing all over the place. First of course, you have the widgets that was introduced in iOS 14. Widgets on Mac is of course nothing new, but with the new implementation, I'm gonna use widgets a lot more. Next up, Safari has now improved the speed with 50% over Chrome and Firefox. In addition, the focus on privacy is much improved and Safari now actually blocks websites from tracking you on the web and it gives you a nice list of all the web pages it's blocked so you can increase your awareness. Mac OS 11 also brings the control center to your Mac. Some people feel this is a bit out of place. Personally, I believe this is introduced for two reasons. One, simplicity, it should look even more like iOS, so it's more familiar for people considering buying their first Mac. Secondly, more and more people are using their iPads as a secondary display. If you're one of those, big touch-friendly menus are of course preferred. Thirdly, the control center helps clean up the menu bar. However, if you want them back, you can just drag and drop to get the icons separately. If you have a look around in the menus, we also now see that there's a bit more space between the lines. Pop-up menus has also got a new redesign, it now feels a part of the application and it's not any longer something popping up on the middle of the screen. Yeah, and we also got a lot of new sounds. But remastered and more refined. My favorite is definitely the trash can. If you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing as I need 1,000 subscribers to earn any revenue from YouTube. And check out my other videos out here.